tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts. All right, Black and White Sports supporters. Well, let's talk about Caitlin Clark. We've got a couple of things. Number one, she's going viral just about 10 or 15 minutes ago at the Indianapolis Colts Pittsburgh Steelers game. Where, man, if Justin Fields don't start playing better, we may get a Russell Wilson sighting in this game. I mean, I kid you not. It's not going well. By the way, Anthony Richardson hurt again. Uh, I tried to tell you. I really did. And I got to tell you, before we get to that video that's going viral, the, the treatment of these ungrateful, fuggy WNBA players... They should all be ashamed of themselves. What have we said? These players hate Caitlin Clark, and she's going to make them a lot of money. And in fact, she tried to get them more money this year. All right, Caitlin Clark was very aware of the impact she was making around the WNBA uh, when it came to actual attendance. Now, what does that mean? That means when a bunch of extra people show up for your game, the gate, the revenue, is way higher. All right? Great example. Atlanta Dream. They draw three or 4,000 fans. Let's say their gate's 150 grand. All right? Um, 17,000 show up. You're probably talking about a million bucks. And Caitlin Clark tried to get these players, which is unfathomable after the way that she has been treated, but... She tried to get these players actual game bonuses for the games in which she was going to play in on the road. All these games. Look, I understand the impact I'm making. Let's try to make these players more money. By the way, the WNBA shut that down. They wouldn't honor Caitlin Clark's wishes. And all these players have attacked her. She's tried to get them more money. And all they've done is beat the crap out of her. It's crazy. Indiana Fever Games broke multiple viewership and attendance records, and Indiana led the WNBA in attendance. We know that. Quote, the impact of uh, Caitlin Clark, uh, rookie Caitlin Clark was a big reason for the increased interest in the league. ESPN reported on Friday, quote, the Fever set a single-season home attendance record of 340,715 fans. Okay, I reported on that the other day. Now, check this out. Speaking with the Economic Club of Washington, D.C. in an interview uploaded on YouTube on September 20th, Fever President and COO Allison Barber revealed an incredible story about how Clark treats WNBA opponents. Quote, here's all you need to know about Caitlin Clark, Barber said. When we would go to away games, they always sold out. Atlanta would normally have 3,000, 4,000 people. Now they have 17,000 people. After a few away games and all of the sellouts, Caitlin Clark asked the WNBA if they would pay spot bonuses to the away team players. Are you kidding me? She tried to get these people more money. Do you understand that means she actually went on the road and tried to help Angel Reese make more money? Asia Wilson, make more, all these people, right, that have come down on her throughout this year, Diamond DeShields, Kennedy Carter. I mean, seriously, everybody on the Connecticut Sun, DeJanae Karen, she tried to get them more money. And they have treated her like trash. It's unbelievable. This story from Barbara reveals how Clark treats fellow WNBA players. Caitlin Clark said, we're making all this new revenue, and I would like the away team to benefit from that. So that's at the heart of Caitlin Clark, Barbara said. That's a classy, amazing person. The answer was no because of the CBA. I mean, it didn't hurt to try. Seriously. And they've done nothing but treat her like trash all season long. And she was already attempting to make these players that could not stand her make more money. We've already talked about the media rights deal and, and what that's going to do. It's going to double to quadruple WNBA salaries. 
Okay, and that's Caitlin Clark. Sorry, Angel Reese, it's not you. Sorry, Asia Wilson, it's not you. The statistics back, it's not uh, Sabrina Inescu, it's not Brianna Stewart, it's not any of these folks that are now coming down on Caitlin Clark fans. It's Caitlin Clark, singular. And she tried to get them more money this year. (laughs) They have done nothing but trash her. It's unbelievable. Wow. And I mean, that's a smart businesswoman. Seriously. I mean, I could see why that would be fair. She recognized she was a valuable product and uh, she tried to do something about it. Caitlin Clark was in the house at the Steelers Colts. This was posted by Yahoo Sports. This is going nuts right now. I just got to wonder, and she was, of course, shown on the trouble, dump, uh, the Jumbotron there at Lucas Oil. Um, would the reception have been as well for Angel Reese or one of those guys from the WNBA that's supposed to be so, so popular? Or would it have been more like my Michigan Wolverine fans and their reception to Tim Waltz? Would it be more like that? where you got booed the hell out. Goodbye, by the way. Did anybody see my boy? Yeah, number 45 slash 47 show up at the Georgia-Bama game. Woo-wee. They love then some DTJ, let me tell you. Yeah, or DJT, yeah. Uh, So anyway, wow. She tried to do all these things. All these things for these players, and, and, and literally, they, they're, they're, I mean, Diamond to Shields stuck her like Ed Reed, like, like a wide receiver going across the middle back in about 1997 when you, when Rod Woodson would come through and uh, decleat your ass for trying to go across the middle before everything became so offensive oriented in the NFL. These players, I mean, it's it's pretty unbelievable. Uh, I, I just can't even believe the treatment that she has went through. I mean, she just won the, the, the by the way, she won the Rookie of the Year, not only AP, but WNBA official Rookie of the Year, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And it's just amazing. And Angel Reese has on Cheryl Swoops on her podcast, ask her if she wants to coach the Chicago Sky, after she got ran out of La Loya for, for uh, mistreating uh, college players, abusing them. She was accused of abuse. The league's nuts, truly. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.